Want to know how to upgrade the storage in your PS5? Well, I got a drive. Let's get to install. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc. My PS5, it ran out of space. And to be clear, storage space. And my friends over at Kingston HyperX sent this guy over. This is a two terabyte NVMe drive. And we're going to put it in the PS5. First, let's kind of unbox the drive and kind of take a look at it. There's not a whole lot to it, but you know, it's always good to look at stuff. All right, let's switch over to this. So here we have our Kingston Fury Renegade. This is the two terabyte version. It is compatible with the PS5. I can show you here on the, the website. You could see right there, PS5 ready. So if anybody says it's not, it's right there on the website, right? All right, so here we go. We have the box, very plain vanilla, not a whole lot to a, you know, a box, but like I said, this is the two terabyte version and uh, they did send this to me. I'm a partner with Kingston HyperX, so thank you so much to them for sending this over. But yeah, we got the Kingston Fury uh, Renegade Drive and pop open the cardboard. That side right there. Comes in a nice plastic uh, package, so it's not damaged during shipping. And there's really nothing to show with these when you unbox them. It's just a storage drive, right? Um, it does have the heat sink on it, and this is the one you want to get for the PS5. You need to have one with the heat sink. Uh, from what I've heard, the ones without the heat sink can get kind of hot uh, within the PS5 because it doesn't have a built-in heat sink that goes over a bare drive. So make sure, you know, when you're picking out one, obviously it needs to be compatible with the PS5. Um, any reputable brand will say on the website if it's compatible or not. And then make sure you have the heat sink there. Um, two terabytes should be plenty for me. Um, obviously, you know, if you need four, get four. And I'll put a link in the description below of where you can pick up the various uh, storage capacity versions for these. Let's bring the PS5 over and I'll show you how to get the side cover off. So here we have the PS5 and I have the version that has the disk drive in it. And what you're going to want to do is you need to pop the side panel off. And as you know, the PS5 has two side panels and a base. Make sure you take the base off first, otherwise this is not going to work. And you want to take off the side panel that does not have the logo. So we need to flip it over, but make sure you kind of pay attention to where the logo is at, just for this example here. We'll flip it over. You can see I got the disk drive version here. And then what we need to do is the corner that is opposite on the other side of the logo, or you could say diagonal to the disk drive, so this corner right here, we need to lift that corner up just a little bit and push that way. So what I like to do is kind of brace with my hand, left hand in this case here, lift up a little bit and push. And it's gonna take a little pressure. Some YouTubers I've seen, they just say yank up on that and that's how you're gonna break your clips. So don't do that. This is meant to kind of pull up a little bit and slide. And it's gonna seem like you're gonna break it because um, you have to do a little force on it, but I promise you, if you do it right, don't go too you know, heavy handed on it, you're not gonna break it. So what we need to do is we need to lift up this corner right here. And again, we're not lifting up the PS5, we're lifting up just the corner of the side panel. So lift and push that way. So here we go. Lifting it and pushing, pushing to the left. So you see, I have to put a little more extra force on it. It'll come out, there it goes. Pops right off. You see, no clips broken there. We're good to go. We'll put the side panel away. And what we are looking for is this spot right here. Now to do this, I should have said earlier, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver because there are gonna be two screws we have to monkey with. So we'll take our screwdriver and we need this panel right here. So we're gonna unscrew this. This is a really easy upgrade that anybody can do on their own. The toughest part is literally just trying to get the side panel off and not like think you're going to break it. So now that we have that off, you can see this is where the drive goes. It's the pins go towards the bottom right there. 
we have a screw here. And as you can see, there are different screw slots right here for different types of storage. Some of the drives are a little shorter and some are full size. We have ourselves looks like probably a full size. So we wanna take the screw out. So I'm gonna pop the black screw out here. This could be easier with like an electric screwdriver. I just don't have one available. And then make sure when you take the screw out, there's this little metal piece. This is like a riser to help kind of lock the card in. Make sure you don't lose that. We will need that. The best thing to do is just put the screw back through it. Just like that. All right, so now we'll take our drive. So I can see here and we'll put our drive in. And you kind of want to put it at an angle first. So you don't want to put the drive flat and then push it in. It's not going to go in. Have a little angle, push it in. You'll feel it go in there, but then pop it down. And you can see this drive doesn't go all the way to the top. It's going to go to that second spot there. So what we'll do is we'll now take that screw and that riser and we'll pop that right in to that screw hole there. Screw in the, the screw in the riser. Make sure your drive is snug. It's not going to move anywhere. We're good to go. Now we need to put the side panel back on to cover the drive. And it has like a little kind of lip right there. That just slides in there. Pop it down. There's the screw hole. We'll close that up. And it's funny, I don't know if you can see it, um, but you'll see it when you take off the side panel and do this. The This screw right here actually has a PlayStation symbols on it. So it has the square, the circle, the X, and the triangle on the, the screw head. So it's the little things that our friends at PlayStation and Sony do. All right, now it's time to put the side panel back on. Pop that back up here. And go in the same way. So I still have the disk drive right here. I'm going to put that right there. We'll go a little lower. And you're going to kind of feel, once you move it around, you'll feel it kind of slide, like kind of dip down into the slot. So if you're too low, it's not going to fit. If you're too high, it's not going to have that snug fit. Right there, we locked in. You put it down and you push it that way and you'll hear it snap into place. Just like that. Now we're all secure, and that's how you upgrade the storage in your PS5. Once again, thank you so much to my friends at HyperX for sending that drive along. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when the next video drops. And until next time, stay safe and keep doing good.